So hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me on an afternoon session where hopefully we'll be making contact with some roach. We've just had officially the last day of summer and once we move out of summer into early autumn it means one thing for me and that is roach on hemp, hopefully tears and sweet corn. Today you do join me on the banks of a local reservoir where there is a good head of roach and some quality roach as well. Mr. Carp is also in here, so fingers crossed we won't be seeing him today. But the hope today, fishing this afternoon session into evening, is to catch Mr. Roach. Before we do get on to the session, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been leaving the channel such support and nice comments. It really is appreciated, and if you are new around here, my name's Danny, and every Friday at 6 o'clock, we put a new video on the channel. So, if you like your fishing, hit that subscribe button down below and join us each Friday for a new adventure. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the swim, the setup and how we're going to approach it. So as you can see all the berries are on the trees now, that tinge of brown is just starting to appear on some of the branches. The evergreens obviously are vibrant but you're just starting to see now the change in the colours you can see over there. Just a little bit of brown appearing. So the decision today was either to fish the whip or the waggler. I've decided to fish the waggler because I just felt like something a bit different. And that is the swim that we're going to fish. You can see plenty of reservoir to the right. But, yeah, got a nice breeze on it. And that is the peg that we're going to be fishing. We've managed to find a relatively flat spot, a nice sturdy position on the box. So let's get down there, take a look at the side tray and how we're going to approach it. So the setup that we're going with today is my 17 foot rod from Preston. It's a carbon active, it's a number of years old now and had some adventures on the river and hopefully there'll be a few more roach on it today. I've teamed that up with a switch reel and on there I've got five pound Dave Howell line. So down to the float, got a number of Dinsmore shot locking in a 1.25 gram Drennan high vis float they say a lot of the bites on here used to be on the drop and we're not going too far out so yeah just enough to get where I want to get to you can see there it's quite a deep swim if we go all the way down to here I've got a two pound one ounce hook link and a size 14 hook and just one number eight dropper on the line Looking at the side tray, we've got lots of Hinders hemp and that is the bait that I am going to be feeding quite heavy today. I expect to get through most of that during the session. We've got a few pints of maggot there just for the hook unless it gets really hard. We'll see about feeding them but certainly just going to be feeding the hemp at the beginning. We've got some tears there in case we want to try a tear. And we've got corn as well for the hook. Looking at the swim got some dark water here level with the box so that is where I'm aiming my bait not too far out as you can see just a nice comfortable distance and that dark background just helps magnify the float and you see any bites so I'm going to feed nice and heavy with the hemp you see not going too far out just that nice comfortable distance the ducks definitely going to be a pain you can see they've come straight in it's just part and parcel of fishing places like this starting off with a grain of corn on the hook nice and positive and I say there was quality roach in here so they're the ones that we're, we're looking to target and every cast will be feeding nice and positively and there we go right in the middle of the ducks <laughs> into the first one I feel like a nice one I said they are going to be a pain them ducks, I can just tell straight away. But a good sign to get a bite so quickly on that corn. And as first bites on the session go, that's not a bad one is it? It's a lovely start. Again feeding quite confidently with that hemp. So it is a deep swim. So that hemp I'm hoping is going to get down to the bottom. We are fishing full depth today so yeah I'm hoping that we are going to get those quality fish that are going to be in them lower layers there we go there's another one 
second fish of the session, probably on the third cast or something like that. And um, what a start. Now, if that's the average, we could be in for a very good evening, couldn't we? The second fish, let's get it straight back. And you can't beat that plop that only a roach makes. So, as you can see, it's a big expanse of water. So every cast, feeding that hemp, it was going to help attract them fish in and also keep the ones that are in the swim there with us. You know, if that first couple of fish are the average size, then obviously there's going to be quite a lot of mouths to feed. And it's just about getting in the routine. It's looking like feeding first and then casting over the top is the way because the bite is coming quite quickly after that corn settles. There we go. You can see there, it's feeding that hemp over the top. Just got to keep that bait going in and that's come this side of the bait that i do think if we'd have set up a five meter whip we'd have got them close in here there's just plenty of bites coming that little bit further out and another one of those nice roach lovely bend in the rod number three and first three fish of a session <laughs> excellent fishing it's a lovely roach and in good condition like you'd expect with a water with such competition in it so definitely feeding first you see not going too far out but as soon as you feed you attract the ducks back in feeding positive with that hemp need the ducks then a little moment to find out there's no food there and hopefully by the time i've put a piece of corn on that have drifted away. My only concern with these ducks is I have got a number eight dropper, which means the bait does fall slowly, which gives them ducks chance to dive on it. So we are gonna be have to be careful when we cast in. But hopefully we can keep playing the game and they'll drift away and we can enjoy some of this beautiful roach fishing that we're having because there's definitely one or two fish out there, most definitely. So we're feeding that hemp again too. Nice pouches. I had left a float in the edge, <laughs> ready to cast. So that answers the question, whether we can catch these fish close in on the whip, because that is literally there. Nice roach just coming, literally the rod tip. There you go. Absolutely quality fishing. So while the ducks are away, I take the opportunity just to feed a bit of corn into the swim. You know, obviously you want a few of them hook baits going through. Again, two positive pouches of hemp. Cast over the top and then just bring it back in to that pile of bait. And there we go. Just coming in that shadow and them trees where we've been feeding that hemp. And so, it's getting steady bites now. Sometimes them swims that are a bit more effort, a bit of a walk from the car park and hard to fish after most rewards in them less pressure but beautiful fishing absolutely lovely fishing <laughs> as you see there just cast in feed a bit of hemp and then rewarded with a roach like that
So as you can see there, feeding nice and positively with the hemp, you know, feeding that every cast into the swim and getting plenty of bites. I say that wind just keeps coming in, which is nice and cooling at times. But like you've just seen, you know, the fish are responding. There's loads of activity on the water. You know, Mr. Ducks are moving in like an armada. But yeah, great fun. By the bank, getting plenty of bites. And it is a beautiful swim to fish this. It's got a nice steady drop off and then an even depth. The banks, as you've seen at the start, very steep. So imagine that's why a few of the car plants don't come down here. And it did take me a while just to get my box comfy today. But once you're down here, yeah, it's a beautiful swim to fish. The ducks are becoming a bit of a pain. And see, you having to work around them. But one thing you can't complain about is the fishing. And you see there, just getting them bites. Then that float come this side of the hemp means that corn is falling with some of that hemp and where it's landing. And the beauty of hemp is you can really manipulate that shoal. You know, where them ducks are out there is where we started feeding. And we're just literally about five or six yards closer in now. Makes it easier to hit the bites. You can see there, still getting the same type of quality. And definitely answers the question, you know, you definitely get them on the whip here. And great quality, just coming that rod length out. And say so you do some real damage with a whip. So that is a video you want to see me do on here. And leave it in the comments below. It really is at the moment on that corn. A bite a chuck. Sometimes you miss it, <laughs> sometimes you get it. But yeah, lovely fishing. Late summer fishing for roach. A lot of people do join new clubs for the carp fishing. There isn't too many out there, I don't think, join for roach. Well, this is the reason why I rejoined the club. The banks of this local reservoir catching quality roach. So just changed over to a tear and yeah, float buried immediately. It's one of them baits that I always never really start on, but feed and feed and feed. And it's quite clear we're only feeding hemp that these fish are eating the hemp and the corn that we're putting in. So it was no surprise that it buried straight away. And it's no surprise to see the quality still remain the same with those tears. The corn and the tears, definitely a bait that will keep that quality of fish up. As the session's going on, just going from strength to strength, really feels like more and more fish are coming into the area and we're getting more positive reactions to feeding that hemp. And I did stay at the start, we'll probably run out of it by the end and you can just see how by feeding like we are, you can really get through the bait. One of those beautiful quality roach. And every so often, you strike and it just feels that little bit more solid. You know, lovely bending this 17 foot rod, but sometimes it just feels a little bit better. There we go, one of the better quality roach. And yeah, do love a bit of roach fishing, especially when they're of this quality and you can really attack the swim with that hemp. At the start of this video, we are feeding via the catapult and now we can feed via hand and just literally flicking the rod out and swinging the fish into hand as you can see there absolutely amazing fishing and you can just see there how we started off probably feeding where that duck is out there and now we're close enough in we can feed by hand and literally flick the rod out and bring these fish in it just shows how you can just manipulate that shoal using hemp as that heavy bait to get the fish where you want to catch them and what it also means is you're a lot more efficient in how quick you can catch the fish. You know, when you're catching fish like that, regular, we'll have a nice net at the end. So towards the end of the session, those bites from those quality roach continue to come. Eventually, though, Mr. Carp did move in and snap me. So I set up the whip and moved over to tears, and the fishing just got even better. As you can see on the final net, quality throughout in a final net going over 40 pounds. All that remains is to thank you all for the wonderful support you show the channel and wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and we'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.